So we will instantiate the wood from our um, uh, catalog, right, of, of waste wood. And uh, we'll try to do, yeah, some kind of wood bench, street furniture sort of thing, right? Uh, just by, um, yeah, like, let's say milling um, in a, yeah, like in a more smooth way and doing a animation of how, uh, like the order of the milling, uh, how we would kind of, how we would do that. Um, yeah, without uh, going too deep into creating uh, the paths for that. So yeah, let's get started. Um, you received uh, the file, right? The, um, where you pretty much just have uh, uh, three curves and uh, well, and the woman, this is just for scale to understand it. Um, the curves, I wouldn't uh, recommend to move it yet. Um, maybe after the tutorial, you can, you know, uh, try and see different shapes. But for now, uh, I would suggest just open the file, right? Um, download also the material card, put, put it somewhere where you can find it. And uh, yeah, and let's start from creating the the shape of the furniture we would like to have so yeah every, everyone is ready right everyone has everything yeah, yeah. okay great so uh, we will start from creating the yeah as i said the the shape of the furniture which is uh, mesh um and for that we need to bring these curves inside um these curves are outside uh, for the sake of yeah just uh, so you can easier manipulate it later but uh, of course we need them inside of grasshopper to do anything with that so you start from the one that is close to zero or close to woman and you go further towards the third one so the order matters um all right so um now we need to create uh, nerves out of them uh because yeah <laughs> because we want it smooth and this is just easy to yeah to do things with that actually just create first so nerves curve so this is <laughs> what we wanted and uh, well you can just copy that i suppose same the third one um all right now we need to use the puffer fish. Um, no, it's not wait. So there is a really nice component that creates, um, yeah, like a twin two curves. So this one. So it kind of creates an average between curves, and that's what we need. So we go, we do this, and uh, between those two. So we have these additional curves helping us to create a surface. Um, okay, we merge all of it. Um, order matters, right? Each after, like a curve after each other. So. So starting from here, then here, and, and so on. OK, uh, then we let's put it all in a separate container and graft it. Um, so and now. Uh, 
yeah, what we need to do is that we need to end it. And I want to end it like um, kind of um, so this point goes to goes um, let's say to zero and this point kind of follows it. So it's they close it in a very simple way. Um, so what we need to do if we need to yeah, understand these endpoints. Uh, let's in different containers. And uh, yeah, we with these ones we deconstruct it. We obtain the negative of the Z coordinate because that's where you, we want to move it. And we create, well, unit Z and move, right? So unit Z is where, and this is geometry, just this point. So we moved it here, you see. Um, and uh, then, Well, then let's actually just merge it. Let's say um, the point, the moved one, this one, and we can create polyline out of it. So yes, exactly what I want. Cool. And now let's merge it all together. Uh, we merge the lines the curves and this polygon so yeah um cool let's group this part as creating rails this part as Closing curves. Um, okay. All right. So, yeah, let's simplify it. Um, and join. Each curve is in its separate box. So we have five curves. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we flatten them. And uh, after that, we can loft it. And we will pretty much receive the surface. Right. Uh, cap holes. So it's closed. And uh, yeah, uh, pretty much we can do the mesh. Out of it, it's called mesh brep because now it's a brep. And uh, yeah, we want to obtain it in this way. And um, yeah, so we have this. Let's create a container for it called uh, yeah, Mesh Bench. Um, then um, I would like to have a shadow of this mesh to have exactly, let's say, this um, understanding of, uh, yeah, like it's, its projection. So the component called mesh shadow, I think. Yeah, mesh shadow. Okay. And uh, so we have this, right? So in case a curve goes a little bit further, we we have yeah all the all the projection which is which is good. Um, we create separate container for it, right? Shadow. Um, then uh, we obtain the bounding box of the shadow. This we will need further to instantiate our pieces of, of wood, right? Because I wanted to have it as an 
in a grid. So, okay, we call, we connect the geometry and the plane, and let's in case do the union box, but it pretty much will be the same in this case. Um, and um, yeah, let's create shadow bounding box, right? So this is a rectangle we will use for to instantiate the grid. And the last thing we need is just the top surface. So without our um, new lines, right? And for that, um, we just need to create loft out of this. And for that, we need to flatten it. So this will be top. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, let's group it as creating mesh surface. All right. Um, any questions for now? Maybe uh, what is uh, like a mesh shadow? So what mesh shadow does is that I will actually hide these curves now. So it projects the mesh like here. So pretty much what you see, this part, right, is the mesh yeah. shadow. And why we obtain it in this way is because, okay, <laughs> I'll return back. So if I do something like that, you see the shadow. Yeah. And um, that's, I mean, in this design system, that's what we want because we will instantiate, you know, and we want all the parts to be covered in wood. So for us, like, uh, this is what's needed instead of just, you know, having the bottom surface. But uh, of course, it's this is a design decision, right? It can be done in a different way. So, um, yeah, so that's what it does. OK, OK. Yeah, I will hide it again because I just don't like to see them now. Um, right. OK, any other questions? No, great. <laughs> OK, um, let's move it a little bit down. And now let's connect our waste wood, right? You receive the Excel file. Uh, so yeah, let's bring it uh, to Grasshopper. For that, we need read Excel sheet. It's from TT Toolbox, I think. And um, we need to bring the file path. File path is um, you select this material card, Excel file, right? Um, the worksheet, it's only one worksheet, but let's have, let's write one. And the listen, it means it, um, if there is a, if there are some changes, it will up update the file. We'll say yes, but for that, it will always keep the Excel open. So just, yeah, just ignore it. Um, right. Yeah, read through, through. Okay. All right. So you see, right, that we have it here. So it first reads all the names, but then I think it's the length, the width, and the thickness of the pieces. For this tutorial, we only use the uh, sizes, not, nothing else. Um, so, okay. Um, now we need to read it. And um, 
Um, sometimes it can be a little bit buggy, so I can I will show you how to do that properly. Um, let's create uh, yeah a component that we will copy later. But anyway, so we need the columns here, and we need a path here. So connect it. Um, well, we can already, I suppose. Um, start to do it. Uh, OK, so. Then we obtain the lens. Um, text length. Um, if it's larger than zero, so because sometimes it's a bit buggy and it showcases like let's say. Like right now we are lucky, but sometimes it just has empty things here. So uh, yeah, in order to just, you know, make it always work, we'll do these operations. Um, so then we call those that are just, yeah, too small, which means there is no text. So as I said, right now we don't have it, but uh, many cases you do. Um, then we clean the tree, right? Yes, yes, yes. And then we call the first index because it's in this table. The first one is the name and we just need numbers, right? So we need to call it. Um, yeah. And. Uh, Uh huh. Well, zero. OK, so now we have our numbers. Great. And pretty much let's create. Um, um, cluster out of it. Um, go inside and put the cluster out here. So now save return and the cluster, let's call reading Excel, reading data from Excel. OK, great. So now we need to do obtain the data about, yeah, like the length, the width and the height. So. Um, well, we can we can create the value list. Uh, and um, our value will be index one. Length. I did something wrong. <laughs> index one. Length. Uh, width. I mean, this data you can just check in the Excel. It's just the numbers of the of the columns. So, right? So, for example, uh, if I bring the Excel here, these are ours. The, this data. So, okay. Um, let's use the, yeah, let's bring the length. Let's call it lens. Yeah. Then width. And then height. Oh, same here. All right, cool. So now we have the data of our waste tools in Grasshopper file, right? Let's group it. Um, 
Okay. Um, everything is clear at this point, guys? Yeah. Okay. I mean, we kind of had the well, same thing when we did the workshop tool, so I suppose this is not new, but uh, we never actually created it together, so. All right. Um, now, when I have the data, I have the length of my pieces, right? Uh, the width and the height. So, and yeah, this is like zero is one piece. Number one is another one, right? So I have all of this data uh, here. And uh, now I want to sort it a little bit because in this example, I don't want to use like certain pieces of wood, right? Um, for example, I don't want to use pieces that are too uh, thin because uh, like my design uh, decision is that I want to sit on those. So if it's too thin, you know, I want to remove it from the list. Uh, and uh, yeah, so let's do that. To, yeah, to make it will Make, uh, make it through the expression um, if more than y. No, and if it's true, it's true. It's false. What's wrong with my typing? It's false. Yeah, and uh, we are interested in this parameter. And uh, the value, say this. By the way, I mean, I'm just showing you what's possible. Of course, you can, you know, later on do any parameters that you think make sense, right? Um, so we call the, like the pieces with this pattern and we need to do it the same with all, all the parts. So we keep the same data structure, right? Okay. Um, and now the another thing I want to do is that I want to cut the pieces that are way too high because we already know we already have the the, the mesh of the bench. So um, let's bring it with wire display hidden. Let's bring it here. And um, yeah, uh, we will obtain its um, its height. Let's deconstruct rep. Um, take list item the ninth. Number nine, so this one, uh, the height of it. Then we just need the length, and uh, it will be, yeah, like a huge number. We, we will make it to integer. And um, yeah, let's say, um, let's add maybe like 40 millimeters. Um, and uh, yeah, so I don't want any piece to be more than um, one meter, 354 millimeters. So um, we will call it maximum value. Value. And uh, yeah, and let's do the same as we did with the width, only now we are interested in, in the length, right? So let's copy this. And uh, only now the X is the length and the Y, well, let's keep it, bring it here, and the Y is this maximum value. So now it's our new pattern. And we connect 
of course, these ones already. Yeah, the new ones. And um, let me check. Uh, ah, OK, sorry, that was wrong because that's what I meant. <laughs> it called everything. <laughs> yeah, OK, now it looks much better. <laughs> OK, cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, same mistake. Yeah. Cool. So um, let's copy this and connect it with our new uh, already edited uh, numbers and let's group it. Cal. Um, yeah, thin, thin pieces and. Uh, This or uh, too long. All right. Um, any questions at this point? Not for my son, no. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty clear, right? We just <laughs> what we don't want, we, we remove. Um, like that, that's how we do it in this tutorial. Um, OK, and um, now I see that we don't have like. Too much of the of too many pieces and um, what I want is that I want like more and um, this is for, like, you know, for the sake of design, because I assume that in the real world, you know, I would have enough of the pieces to do all of the operations. So but yeah, now we are. Um, doing it with this table that is a bit random <laughs> and uh, yeah let's just create more of of the of the pieces by just repeating the data like as many times as we want it let's say 281 um yeah um okay and so now, yeah, you see we had 167, now we have 281. And the new ones are just repeated values of those. Uh, so this is pretty clear, we do it with all of them. And we need to obtain the indexes of those, uh, like 0, 1, you know, and so on and so on. And we make it through series. So series start 0. Uh, step size one and uh, we need it this many times. Yeah, so now we have our indexes. OK. Uh, let's go in. We connect it again. And this we connect to index. OK. Um, yeah, and just to understand, e even for us, and we'll need it uh, later as well, we will create uh, bounds. Well, not create, we will understand, you know, like what is the minimum and the maximum. So we deconstruct domain. And uh, we obtain those, right? Minimum. And maximum. So let's copy it to for everything. The length, the width, and the height. So now we understand, you know, what kind of pieces we have. So okay, cool. Um, yeah, let's group it. Extend data and. Uh, bounce. Okay. 
Um, any questions at this point? No. no. OK, perfect. Um, OK, after we created our bench, right, and obtained all the data about the, the wood that we have, and, you know, removed some of that that we don't need and so on. Uh, what we need to do is we need to create a grid. Um, and uh, yeah, um, we, and the grid will kind of take the parameters from the database. So um, let's use this rectangle that we created and uh, let's deconstruct this graph. Um, we then dispatch the uh, edges um, and uh, we'll take one of each through list item so like uh, like this yeah so we have the long one and the short one um then what we do is that we obtain the length and um, we pretty much divide uh, why it's so ugly <laughs> um because ah, it's not needed okay we divide this length uh no wait yeah so this is the maximum and that's what we're going to uh, use for our grid. We'll use the maximum width and the maximum height. So we'll have, we'll use this one for division. So let's create division, right? And uh, we use the length and we use this maximum length from the, no, width, sorry, width from the stock, right? 210. Um, okay, we can hide this. And um, we do the same for for the short one. Yeah, and uh, instead of uh, width, we will use height though. So, okay, now we have these parameters. Um, let's make them integers. And um, yeah, let's create a rectangular grid. Rectangular grid. We can also find it actually here, right? Grid, rectangular. Okay. And um, yeah, like, so these pieces will be number of grid cells, right? Uh, X and Y. Then the size of the grids are, uh, well, pretty much what we just used here. So it will be 210 here and uh, 60 here yeah um yeah let's hide it and the last one we need the plane right otherwise you see how it creates it not the way we want so for that <laughs> um we need yeah the the first of the vertices This one and uh, the plane, we actually just convert the surface to the plane. It's only possible if it's planar, right? Um, and uh, what we do is that we change like plane origin. Um, we had this plane, this plane, base plane, yeah. And we change it to this point. So, yeah, 
we obtain it here and now we can connect it to the grid and voila right we have uh, what we pretty much tried to do <laughs> um okay let's make the the box for it grid cells and uh, group this part creating the grid questions no i don't think so nice okay uh, let's go further so now what we need is that we need to understand right if we um let's say from the each cell from the uh, from the center we create a line how like what is the target mm, length of it so then we can instantiate our waste wood right and try to find a similar one and uh, yeah for that we need to just start doing that it's it's fairly simple we just need the um, centroids of the grids. Let's put it in the point. Um, and uh, then we need to project this point. It project point. It's you see this one. Um, we need to project it to the geometry. And our geometry is surface top. So let's copy it. Wire display hidden. So let's bring it here. And um, yeah, connect it to our geometry. And the direction is um, now it's down, but we need uh, a direction up. So for that, we need 0, 0, 1, right? Okay, so we projected our points and uh, now we just connect it, uh, create a line out of it. Cool. So, um, pretty much we just need to evaluate each line and try to find a similar length in our waste wood catalog. Uh, before that, though, I want to remove the ones that are way too small because I think it doesn't make sense to to find those. But this is as well a design decision. So let's clean the tree in case. Um. Oh, no, not in case. <laughs> uh, OK, yes since um, some of the points right uh, do not like we didn't project it to the surface and we need to remove them to make our lives uh, easier okay so yeah let's call those that are too too little let's obtain the length of the curve and um, yeah, well, let's just copy the risk. Only here we want um, opposite. We want like the bigger. Um, yeah, same thing. We use it as a call pattern and uh, remove these curves. So for example, you see that I removed like yeah ones that I feel are too small and here I can control how small yeah so if it's small than 64 millimeters I decided to call them from the system okay um good so now we have uh, we call them target lines so ideal kind of lines <laughs> ideal um, length that we will try to find then let's flatten it 
and uh, yeah so and what we're gonna do now is that um, in the research we use like a custom uh, code to sort and then to uh, let's say match the um, the stock one with the target one but here um, for the sake of yeah just clarity and make it simpler we're not gonna do that what we're gonna do is that we, we're just gonna sort the curves uh, from the uh, well the biggest to the smallest and we will sort the stock ones and then we will match just the pairs um, okay we will you will understand what i mean um so let's obtain the length again and sort it sorted by length so um we need it reversed so now uh, we have these target lines sorted from the highest to the lowest yeah and that's what we want in this in this tutorial um let's call it sorted lines okay uh now we can group it let's say create creating target lines calling ones that are too small and uh, sorting them from the longest to the shortest okay uh questions at this point no mm -hmm. no okay um yeah let's go further then and yeah we let's match the target ones with the stock ones and instantiate the stock uh, planks in the in the places that we want them to be so for that yeah so we have this um okay um let's understand the least length first yeah and um, um yeah let's create the bounding boxes of the of the planks um well okay that's that's very simple just need a rectangle and a box rectangle yeah um for that we just connect um, let's bring it here the height these guys okay um so the x is the width the height is the y and the plane will be our plane origin this one yeah so you see all these rectangles all together and now we just create the height yeah which is connecting the length okay <laughs> so good they all are created somehow <laughs> and um yeah um now let's do the matching for that we will need split so 
need split list twice with the amount of the sorted target lines. And uh, one split we connect to the length and another split to the boxes. So now, like you see, because we have 280 lines, we only have one here, like one box, let's say one plank. That's because we have 281. So, yeah, um, okay. So now we have, yeah, the length and the boxes. So in case you have more, for example, um, you you would you know have more or in the B1. So all right, um, yeah, we pretty much matched <laughs> right now. <laughs> uh, that's fairly simple. Let's yeah, um, okay, let's do other stuff. So we deconstruct the breath. Um, then we obtain the face. So I mean, we what we are trying to do is we are trying to instantiate each of them, right, in their matched place. So and this we need. Uh huh. Um, then we need the area, the centroid. And um, now we are making, calculating the vector between where they are, right? This the centroid. Let's actually simplify it in case. And uh, we need, yeah, the. Oops the starting point of each line, right? Which is this. Well, is it this one? No, it's not. Okay, then that means we need this. Yeah, and uh, let's graft it and simplify because we we have this part grafted. So it will be each of them have their own box. So we have 280 vectors. Um, I'll connect it, right? So, okay, great. That's what we need. Otherwise, we would have insane amount of that. Um, and um, yeah. Um, well, we can create the lines also. Line SDL for us. Uh, with the length here. Mm, let's graft it also. And the points here. Yeah. So this is our stock. Stock pieces. Yeah. You see how it's different. OK, and now we just move pretty much the pieces. We just move. We take the boxes here as a geometry. Uh, we graft it because it's all flattened. Uh, and we use these vectors because the vectors are grafted, right? Uh, OK, great. So now you can see, and I can show you. How does it look? View of, right? So <laughs> we instantiated our stock pieces. And, uh, yeah. Um, all right. 
So let's group this part as matching the target and placing says uh, on their place on their places okay um cool um any questions at this point Um, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe, um, like, does it also consider the width of the pieces so that they don't collide within the? Because right now it's sort of depending on the resolution, right, of the, the so, grid system, right? So because we created in general the grid, right, with the maximums mm -hmm. of the oh, width okay, and yeah. the height. That's why it will never collide. But yeah, this is, as I said, just a design decision for like yeah. the specific right tutorial. So yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Anything is clear? I mean, we are placing it in a way in the most simple way. It's only possible, but. Um, I think right now is more important to understand how you know things are working rather than going too much into depth. Uh, yeah. Especially okay. when you don't have your um, projects already, you know, mm -hmm. figured out. Uh, so that's why we just pretty much we 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 have the stock pieces, right? Which are the let's say these are the length and. Um, these are the lengths of them. Well, actually we did, we forgot something. <laughs> That's good. Uh, ah, no, no, we sorted it. Yeah, should have sorted. Uh, yeah, okay, we forgot something. So that's good that uh, I, I decided to show you. We need to sort all of these guys um, pretty much from the biggest to the smallest one. So let's just, you know, um, put the sort component between series and the length and use uh, length as keys. So um, we have this A, then we have these indexes. Yeah, we use length as keys, remember? So this kind of always stays there. Um, and uh, yeah, and the height. So, okay, okay, now. <laughs> Uh, I can show what we did in terms of matching. Yeah. Uh, ah, and we re reverse all of it. Okay, you don't need to reverse keys because it doesn't matter. Um, so now we have all of our pieces, right? Let's say in the lab or whatever in the, you know, um, in the storage. Um, we have all of them like from the longest to the shortest. Yeah. So this is our stock pieces. It's the length. And uh, we just pretty much ma we match it with the. Uh, with the length of. Of the target ones. Right, in a way that like this is the target line and it matches with zero. Yeah, one with one, two with two, three with three, four with four. Like this is just very simple way to do that, right? Uh, just to showcase. Of course, 
it's probably yeah it's definitely not the most optimized way <laughs> but uh, i mean it's good for like for the sake of what we are trying to do today so yeah um that's how we matched it yeah now it actually looks much better i was actually surprised when i saw <laughs> okay um all right and uh, because we have such a easy mechanism to match it um we have some pieces that are bigger than the ones that we need right and there, were, there are a bit of pieces that are shorter and what i say is like you know it's fine that some pieces are shorter maybe it's even good you know for like for the design it brings a little bit of yeah like novelty let's say but the ones that are too long i want to mill it i want to mill it you know in a way that it matches like my surface so so yeah to do that we need to dispatch planks to the ones that are to mill and the ones that stay and uh, yeah, to do that we obtain the yeah the length of the curve and uh, yeah, we need to understand the difference, right? Let's disable it. The preview. Um, the difference we understand from the subtraction. We have these pieces. Well, let's flatten it. And uh, we have the length of the sorted lines, the target ones, right? So. Um, so now we, yeah, we understand the difference and, um, yeah, let's just create the patterns through larger than zero because that's what we're interested in. Yeah. And now we can dispatch it with this pattern. Uh, we take the boxes here. Uh, and uh, yeah, and the pattern here. Well, let's simplify it as well. Um, we do the same with curves. Yeah, same pattern. We just connect the curves here. Um, OK looks okay i think or not no no looks weird ah uh, yeah because <laughs> because this should be grafted yeah okay makes total sense cool and we graft it um in order to keep the data structure right so no, right now you see it's all the same only in some boxes you have something in others you don't and this will help us to to do the well further the milling path or low we're not we're not gonna do it in this tutorial but uh, it will help later with that and we will also do like some kind of playful animation of you know how we will mill it so we we need the data structure for the for these purposes um okay let's just all put in their boxes so these are planks to mill and these are planks to leave yeah um yeah to leave. Same here, but uh, only say curves. Cool. Um, let's group it. Dispatching. 
mil, not mil. Yeah. Okay. So now, um, now everything is clear, right? Yep. Cool. Um, okay. Well, actually, we can visualize it for us also. Um, let's bring the preview here. Let's enable it. Yeah, and just color swatch. I don't know. Let's say blue. Ones that me are to meal. And this would be. I don't know. Another color. Yeah. So these guys are going to be um, following the shape of our surface. Yeah. And these guys are just going to stay the way they are. Um, OK. I think I think it's good. So. Let's go further. And um, yeah. Let's model these cut pieces. Yeah. OK, we bring the surface top here. Yeah. Um, and uh, we do the intersection between two breps. So it's breath, breath, intersection. Um, so we have the length to meal as one breath and top surface as another. And yeah, we receive the cutting let's say lines um then we close the curve it will be orange and that's fine um so then let's play with data structure pretty much data um the surface top we need to repeat it Exactly the six. Um, yeah, this number of times. And um, this we need to split the surface through surface split. Um, what's the name? I mean, I think it's also so it should be here near yeah, surface split. So all our surfaces here. And we graph. Yeah, we should graft it. Yeah, for sure. Of 280 cool and simplified and the curve is here let's just check that it's same data structure it's important 269 but it's 279 yeah looks fine i think okay okay uh okay i see what's the problem Let's disconnect it. In case. We need the length of each. That's why. Um, yeah, we don't have to graft it. It should be already grafted. It should already take the data structure. OK, I think that's much better. OK, yeah, great. Now it's, it's it should be fine. OK, and we simplify it. Um, yeah, and the, 
the problem that we probably have is that well let's see. like if i take just the first item i think it's not gonna work out because it kind of has a lot of well, it has like the big surface and the small one and uh, not extremely straightforward what you should take. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Um, Uh-huh. Let me see. Um. Okay, something is off, I think. Um, this is 161. Hmm. Yeah, we calculated the difference. Yeah, okay, maybe it's fine. Okay, let me check that. Hmm. Um, okay, that's just weird. Anyway, whatever. So the problem is that we have, we need to pick the surfaces that we need. And um, what I will do is that I'll probably uh, obtain their areas and just sort them, sort them accordingly. So if I try now, um, so okay, okay, I think I think it's good. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, that works. So after the surface split, it just has both surfaces, the big one and the small one, and we need the small one. So uh, and we got it through just uh, yeah, sort them from the smallest to the biggest one. So for example, if you see the keys, it should be. Yeah, the smallest one always first. Ah, uh, no, we need the big one. And we need the first one. Yes, that's what we need because it also has like some small trash and in in some of the in some of the boxes, it's the small one. So, OK, we reverse it and then we take the first. Um, nice. OK, after we do that, we clean the tree. And um, then we need to um, yeah. 
think the curves that are cut. Uh, yeah, well, pretty much what we need is that we, we need to uh, actually project these guys. Uh, right, these ones, the curves, we need to project it. Curve. Oh, project to the plane. Let's project it to just uh, X, Y, yes. And uh, yeah, and now we can loft the pieces. Uh, yeah, I think so. Or not. Mm. Okay. Loft. All right, let's do this way. Let's have a five minute pause so I can get some coffee <laughs> and we continue. It's our bench. Well, it's like a bench, but you can, I guess, make it multifunctional. <laughs> so, um, okay. Yeah. So we projected, right, our cuts to the to the floor. And what we need is we need yeah, to loft it um, to get, yeah, so we connect first the projection and then through shift we connect the curves, right? So that's what we get. Uh, and um, we clean it. Yeah, and now what we need is we need to merge these surfaces with these surfaces, right? Because this is like caps, let's say, and these are, yeah, just the overall volumes. But if you see, for example, custom preview of those, um, they are like empty. Uh, so, yeah, you see that we need <laughs> these caps <laughs> for them. Okay, um, so let's merge it. Disable it. And um, join the preps because prep join, right? This is maybe not necessary, but let's do that. So now, if before in our data structure we had, right, like this, uh, like both the surface and the, and the prep, now they should become one. They should become this. Um, I mean, if you want, you can also close the caps, but for us it's not really... Um, Oh yeah, well actually let's do that, why not? Cup holes. Uh -huh. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, it's probably gonna work, just there is probably some small mistake. Um, cool. And what we need now, we need to combine um, these guys. Well actually we can group it, yeah? cut pieces, model cut pieces. And we need to combine them with uh, the pieces that we didn't touch, right? The planks to leave. So we do it through merge. We take those. And we take, yeah, the ones that we didn't mill. And yeah, cool. Um, so pretty much we we have our bench here. Okay, let's 
have some other color, maybe yellowish. Mm. Or okay, that's definitely not wood. <laughs> okay, this looks like wood. So right, that's what we have. This is our bench. Should be our bench. Okay. Um, so anyway, mm. you can also regulate here how many pieces you want to mill. If you want, for example, to make it more smooth, um, maybe you can, you know, change the parameter a little bit. Um, but I guess for us, it's more or less fine, I think. Um, okay. Um, cool. So, um we have let's create two sets and let's create some kind of uh, animation you know like how we mill it so in a, like going right from one row to another in a similar way that we milled our plank wooden plank um yeah i i assume there is no questions no everything is Clear, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, nice. So, yeah, to do that, we need to recover the data structure because we kind of lost it. <laughs> um, actually, we'll simplify it. Why? Oh man, why it's so... Why it doesn't want to simplify? Well, whatever. Yeah. I think, okay, I guess that's why I actually didn't join some parts. Uh, all right. Uh, there is some small problem, but I think it shouldn't really interfere. Um, what we can do is that we can just maybe yeah. Well, I'm just trying to understand what went wrong. Um. Okay, that is weird. Doesn't want to simplify anything. <laughs> Why? Mm. Okay, some 
So if it if I say simplify, I should have like the data structure without the zero. And I don't. And it annoys me. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I found the problem here. Why it happened? That's a very good question. Yeah, that's pretty weird, to be very honest. Mm. Anyway, what we can do is we can. Okay, three. Let's go to trees. And let's do the path mapper. Create new mapping. We just delete this guy and see what happened. You know, we kind of forced forced it to be <laughs> this way. Um, maybe we can do it before. I think it's going to be better. Um, here. Okay. Hmm. I mean <laughs> Uh-huh. Maybe we can just call the ones that are too small. Yeah, I don't know why this bug happened, actually. Uh -huh. OK, I think <laughs> it was not planned, but let's do some uh, movements. Uh, I think it's good to know how to do all this stuff anyway. Let's remove the. Like if. It's three of them. That means that something went wrong. We will dispatch it accordingly. Mm. Yeah, so if the length of them is more than two, we will treat it differently. Um, let's see if it's better. Mm. And um, pretty much one of them, this should work. And then another. Um, maybe it's opposite actually. Do you understand what I'm doing, by the way? Or trying? Mm. 
Guys. Uh, try to follow it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, could you like summarize what you're trying to do here? Because I did get a little bit lost along the way. So, <laughs> um, when we um, did the surface split, um, mm -hmm. some of the pieces, it created three of them. So, mm -hmm. for example, Some of the pieces like it has like the big surface and then some kind of. Yeah, well, sheet we don't need. <laughs> um, how to. Let me I will try to show you what happens somewhere. Okay. Mm. Sorry, I need to understand how to show it to you properly. I think this should be that should be it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. It doesn't. It is pretty weird. False, false, total. Okay, just. I'll just forget about it now. I mean, because it it shows that there is something, but it it doesn't. So, fuck it. Um, okay. Mm, it can be because of the surface section. If there's a problem here. Okay. <laughs> okay, we I fixed it in a different way. Hmm. Disconnect. Okay, let's reloft the curves. Mm. Yeah, meh. I reverse it and do this. Uh, 
I all of this splitting stuff, they are so buggy. This is uh, extremely annoying. Mm, meh. I mean, <laughs> all right. Yeah, we 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 need to call those guy. Otherwise, it's just way too too much. So we have, this is the problem, you see, some of the surfaces are way too little and we don't need them, such as this. So, okay, let's just literally delete it because it gets quite annoying. Sean. If x less than um, area, and let's say it's three. Let's try through smaller one. Yeah, okay, that's better. So if we dispatch it. This we can delete. It was another way to do that, but somehow it didn't work. Or I don't want to. Um, really go through it. Let's see if it did what we want. You're off. I think it did. I'm not sure. The pattern. Um. Let me see what is the numbers. Yeah, I think 100 is, is good. Yeah. Yeah, OK, cool. Nice. OK, we delete it, we delete it. So. In we added here the um, change of data structure. It was some bug in surface split pretty much. And now we add 
we move this a little bit here. Okay, you can ungroup it. Just add here. Now should be better. Okay, if I try to loft, disconnect all, and I try to loft this with projecting these guys on the plane. It doesn't want to loft because it's a surfaces. <laughs> okay, but... What we can do is that we can put mm, some, should be some kind of wrap edges, I think. Yeah. Pretty much, let's just add wrap edges to both projected and not. I mean. Ah, because we project this, right? Okay. That makes much more sense. Okay, and uh, now we can try to finally loft it. <laughs> and I think it should work. So disconnect all. We loft. We loft this. We shift this. And no. Mm. <laughs> Point curves then. Yeah. Good. Again. Yeah, now let's just check the data that it's all it's all good for us. Yeah, I mean, should work. Do is maybe close it in case. Close curve. This can help us. No, we'll not flatten. Simplify. Okay. <laughs> Again. These are closed. I really hope. Yes. Okay, this and then this. Um, all preview off. Uh, I didn't construct it, I think. Okay, now it did. Okay, we simplified the data. Okay, nice. Cool. We clean it, we merge it, and we join the breps. And now, yeah, we merged it. That's what we did. All right. Um, any questions?
know. Yeah. Uh, so sometimes also because we project on the surface, you know, you should check like that. Yeah. It's it works well, let's say. So, but this is just the limitations of the methods of we are using. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, we need to pay for making it simple. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there was some bug that we had to fix. But anyway, all right, we have all of the B reps that we need. Yeah. Let's call it again model cut pieces. And now we have this part which we which is milled set. Yeah. And uh, we have let's call it milled set. Yeah. And uh, we have the part that is raw set. Let's create the box for it. Raw. I want to, you know, kind of create a switch between them that will animate the way we actually mill the pieces. So for that, we need to recover the data structure first. OK, and for that, we connect the curves. Those ones, we flatten them. And um, we, let's bring it here. We bring their endpoints. Um, yes. Yeah, OK. And um, we need to bring our target lines, which are. Uh, which are before we flatten them. So somewhere here. Yeah, that's exactly what we need. So we copy it. Um, wire display hidden and bring it here. So um, what we can do is that we can maybe simplify it though. Um, now we take the endpoints and uh, we will try to find uh, right the uh, points here in this data structure. So that we will use. Um, find similar member and uh, this is the what we are searching for and this is the set and uh, so now we have the indexes and uh, yeah with these indexes we can just use the list item Yeah, we connect the list here. And index to index. So this is our meal set. Um, in the data structure that we want. And we copy it and do the same with. Um, like the original one, which is we merge these planks. Yeah. We flatten it as well and we connect it uh, here. So this will be the raw set and this will be the milled set. And um, in the same data structure, right? Uh, that we inherited from the grid and we will need the grid structure to create like this uh, yeah these ways of 
animating. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's call it. Recovering grid data structure. Um, yeah, so yeah, let's go to the last step to create the animation. And uh, for that, we need uh, three stats, three statistics to understand the, the paths. Yeah, we dispatch them. Same as we did uh, in our last tutorial. So here is zero, two, four, blah, blah, and one, three, five. Yeah, so we dispatch yes, no, yes, no. And um, through three branch, three branch, we take it. So the meal set the path. Same here. And uh, those guys, we reverse them. Yeah. Um, same operations that we did uh, to create the milling uh, pass. So cool. Uh, I think. Okay, let's let's just check if everything is fine here. Exam. If we go shaded. Yeah, OK, it looks like we have everything. OK, it looks fine. Um, so. Now we do the same, absolutely the same with the raw set. So what we can do that we can just go. Do this, just copy this guy. So we copy that. In this way, we need to only change the mill to raw. And now we have same amount of that, like same data in the same structure, right? Uh, only one is milled and another is raw, right? The stock wood that we had. And we will create the animation through split. Split three, split list. Uh, split list, uh, we flatten it all. Flatten it and uh, here and our I will be time. Yeah, so we create the number slider like like this. Similarly, we did with robots, right? And uh, we remap numbers. So this will be our number. That so yeah, uh, any other questions? Nope, all is clear. Good, good, good. Yeah, same for me. I would just uh, like, what type of, uh, like how would you transfer the mesh, I guess, into the um, milling file? Would you just like pick the um, like the milled mesh and then import it into the milling file, or because also do you need? Uh, I guess you also need the meshes of the unmilled pieces or untrimmed pieces. So yeah, if you want, you can try to create the milling path for that and. Uh, because the simplest way to do that is just to create it out of the surface top, right? Yeah. 
and uh, we already learned the how to navigate the data structure in a way. So I think it's totally possible for you to try your, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> try and just just create a to um, pass for robot to just go, I don't know, maybe like this, you know, and mill yeah. everything because the pieces that are too short, like, I mean, you, you pretty much just need a surface mm -hmm. here, right? And you just, with the surface and the grid, you can create this milling path. So, right? So the robot will just kind of follow the surface. Okay. So if you want, try it. That will be a good exercise. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. Um, nice. So, yeah, thank you guys for today. And uh, <laughs> I hope that it will help with your projects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no need to do exactly the same. <laughs> I, I actually, don't. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, I think you can definitely build on that, right? And uh, yeah. um, now you have all the understanding how things can be connected and uh, yeah, how to manipulate the data and so on and so on. So yeah, good luck. Uh, and yeah, um, see you <laughs> in a week, I'll say. Well, yeah. unless yes. tomorrow you'll be in the studio, because I think I'm coming. All right. Okay, then probably okay. see you tomorrow. Yeah. All yeah. Right. All right. Thank you very much. Right, thank you. Exactly. See you guys. All right, see you. Bye. Bye-bye.